Hey, what's up, peeps? And as you can see, I have this nice, beautiful servo. And this servo is purely waterproof, okay? And it's high torque. I uh, believe it is 15 kilograms. And uh, I also have a throttle linkage servo from uh, fifth scale Red Cut Rampage, and that one is 15 kilograms. However, uh, it's not waterproof, it's splash proof, which I know I have a video that I said it's waterproof. Actually, the Red Cut is splash proof, this one is purely waterproof. Now, I got this for my uh, Monsoon XP or X, X, XRT or XTR um, to originally replace the uh, steering uh, um, servo. Now my uh, my uh, throttle and my brake servo was original in that car and I had to replace it because because it was way too weak. Okay? And I have replaced it with this and it's it's doing it's doing great. Okay? So that's that's the reason why I have replaced it. I replaced it with this and my throttle has improved hundred percent. It is solid, it's dead stop, it's just awesome. Again, as you can see, it does not have any markings, any labels, it doesn't say high tech, it doesn't say Futaba, it doesn't say none of that. This is the second one I have purchased. Um, the uh, first one I put it into a throttle uh, and uh, brake on my uh, Red Cut Moonson. And this one I'm going to put it towards my steering, see how that goes. It looks promising, but these things again, they, uh, they are awkward uh, since it is not branded. I'm not sure how it's going to work. In reality, it was only $17 waterproof, so it's a decent price. Um, I don't want to pay for this with a cheap servo and my throttle going nuts. I have a fail safe. Maybe that will work when this thing goes bad. Uh, but I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that it's not going to go bad and hopefully this thing is going to work perfectly. Uh, it's not from China. It's been purchased from YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, eBay and uh, I've had it, well I've had the red cut uh, uh, throttle and brake servo in my stampede. It's been working fine, really cool. This I really really haven't used it. It is it's got great torque and that's usually more mostly concerned about and uh, you know I'm thinking if you're not overcharging, overheating, overworking this servo it will do many years. It is not red cut even though um, not that I dislike red, red cut, but it's a cheap platform. It's a good platform to start from. So again, um, I'm starting with this just to make sure that I'm kind of building a better performance car as it is because the original servos did not work great. They were very sluggish, very slow. The brake linkage didn't break. Uh, the servo was weak and uh, it really wasn't doing what I was expecting and I was actually needing. And I believe, you know, Red Cat should be ashamed to put a crappy servos like they, they, they do. Um, and uh, I'm going to do a, do a comparison between the uh, Moonstone XDR and uh, XTD, I believe. Uh, it's the same platform as the Red Cat. It's an 8 scale Truggy. I purchased two. I purchased both of them used from eBay. And uh, they are exactly same and they are exactly alike um, the mounting of the hardware is a little bit different there's there's some pieces missing and uh, some pieces uh, just extra anyway we're not talking we're not going to talk about it I will do a review uh, with this after a while um, usually uh, you know it takes me a couple of months of bashing I, I am going to do a review on a power start on my fifth scale red card how badly it performed. I barely used it and have stripped out. So if you wanna 
check that out give me a couple couple of days i will put that on uh, youtube and I'll let you guys know how bad that uh, you know uh, drill performed um and other than that this is you know this is i believe it's a good buy for 18 dollars i uh not gonna lose anything uh for top bar and high tech they they near around 30 40 dollars for dollars it's a metal gear inside and outside it's waterproof I want to go waterproof. I want to give it a shot. It's got rubber seal around over here and around over here. So I know it's waterproof. There's a rubber ring inside. I know it's waterproof. I've tested it's waterproof. I want to give it a shot. I want to hope for the best. It is unbranded. I, I'm expecting the best out of it. But then on the other hand, um, I'm not. It's like I'm hoping for the best. I'm being totally optimistic. But if it fails, I will keep you guys up to date. If it fails, don't get it. It has been uh, bought from uh, eBay. It's not from China. Probably just like anything else is made from China. It has no markings whatsoever. It doesn't have a name. So if it does break, if I do a review, nobody's even going to know what brand had failed, what not to buy, what to buy. If it was a high tech and it failed, well, there it is, it failed. But I've had high tech fail. I had red cut, you know, servos fail many times. So these things are just general, pretty much use, and things fail. Unfortunately, you know, uh, if, if this is connected to a throttle and it fails, it's gonna pretty much mess up your RC, and then you have a couple hundred dollars in repairs. Uh, but other than that, this this really uh, should be a good buy, and uh, it looks like a promising servo. And um, other than that, if if you know if this works great guys you should go with this regardless I think um, if you guys want to save some money and uh, it fits perfectly into uh, <clears throat> into a stampede into a slash into a nitro uh, rustler or regular you know uh, uh, brushless rustler it also fits into moon sun red cut so you don't have to go to red cut and buy probably red cut or the dodge just puts a label boom and it says red cut a uh, was it hex something and H H E X and that's it you know that's that's pretty much the difference it's got a different housing block instead of gray sorry and uh you know that's that's all it is to it you know they're all made in china they're all made in taiwan japan whatever it is it's just how you use it how you connect it you put 7.2 volt into it it ain't gonna work it's gonna overheat and blast um if you you know put six volts it should work properly these cars aren't heavy these things they go bad you know with a heavy uh heavy torque uh, that has been used against them, which is your know, fifth scales um, and also your know, eight scales. Um, I don't need much torque. I'm only using this for steering. I also use, I'm using normally the same thing for throttle, like I said before. I'm expecting the best out of it. It's not rated at six kilogram. The original one for throttle and steering steering uh, is six kilogram, done by uh, Red Cat. Okay, so six kilograms versus um 15 it, it's a huge difference um it, it's just awesome and i'm hoping for the best the more torque the more juice the better the stronger there's nothing there to break all it could happen is the module can burn out if it burns out it's a dud it's garbage i will not use it ever again um but then on the other hand i've had red cat you know throttle servo uh 15 you know kilograms fail on me regardless for no reason um uh, then uh, I think I can't say no reason I overpowered it I was putting 7.2 uh, volt battery on a 6.0 volt 7.2 so originally the light was at about uh, 8.2 you know so it, it was being overheated overpowered and boom it blast out but I, I believe I since I remember when I got my RC a couple years ago my red got fifth scale the throttle just went for no reason could have been water, could have been moisture, but it, look, it's not the greatest thing. It's not the best servo. This isn't the best servo. Redcar doesn't have the best servo. Yeah, high tech, you know, Futaba, uh, you know, all those, all those heavy, expensive, you know, expensive, well-known brands. They want to keep the name up on the top. So, but you know, you'll pay forty, fifty dollars, and boom, this is what you're gonna get. Now, that doesn't guarantee you or me that this thing is not gonna burn out. So enough talking thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed please do you'll get you know uh very uh useful information you get a couple of reviews here and there i got a couple of things coming i have bought uh, my uh 
uh, you know, uh, stuff and equipment and, and, and uh, tools and extra spare parts, um, you know, for all my natural cars. So hopefully we'll, we'll get into a bashing. This is going to eight scale. Um, and again, I'm going to be comparing two, two RCs together, both natural. I believe the SH is 0.28. The other one, I'm not really sure. I cannot identify if, it, identify if this is if the other one's SH 0.28 motor or not. If there's no markings on it. I can't see the VIN number. I can't see the name of it. So I, therefore, I can't identify it. Other than that, please do subscribe. You know, thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't like the video, I'm sorry. I apologize that it was boring, wasn't informative for you guys. But other than that, you know. Um, just, you know, stay tuned and look out for more bashing coming through. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank Pete. you.